Today we are at a little bizarre attraction. Uh, not really an attraction, it's someone's residence. Uh, it's called Whimsy Land. And this is located in Safety Harbor, Florida. And it's dubbed as the bowling ball house. Let's look around and see what we can find here. These guys are artists. Uh, and this has been going on for 20 years building this house. And this right here is the entrance and it says you are here. And it is free to walk around and look. Yeah. But mind you, it is somebody's personal residence. But they don't mind you coming looking around. And it looks like they're ready for Mardi Gras here. Those are some pretty cool looking Mardi Gras looking faces here at the entrance of Whimsyland. They even have a little book box out here. I guess you can donate books to the uh, local library. Out in the front of this house, there's all kinds of decorated bowling balls, as you can see. And uh, I hear they went to a flea market that had a sign that said 10 free bowling balls per person. And they both went and got some and uh, got a big collection of bowling balls. This here is the front of the house. This is a person's residence. Uh, all kinds of little things on the side of the house. Uh, colorful, artistic, 20 years in the making. Let's go check some more of this out. There is bowling balls everywhere here. All up and around all the trees and the landscaping. Uh, looks like an old bathtub right there. And then right here is a decorative artwork here with a bunch of bottles uh, pretty cool looking here the fencing here in the garden in front of this house is made out of bottles all kinds of bottles all the way up and around and if you look up right into the front of the house is a whole stack of the bowling balls all different colors of bowling balls uh, talk about striking out uh, right here with all these bowling balls absolutely incredible there's some even little happy faces on these bowling balls and this is a pretty happy whimsical place whimsy land and uh, a lot of things to look at here this is just absolutely incredible and as you can see all different kinds of color bowling balls here bowling balls galore this here looks like some kind of an animal, maybe a looks like a dog here, made out of a, a, a steel barrel. Uh, very artistic and uh, colorfully painted as well. And over here in the front is another one of these statues with the uh, bottles hanging out, all different colored bottles. And you got a bunch of little doodad things here, like little pinwheel windmills on the sides of the poles and the trees. And you go right on down, and here is, I don't know what that little creature is, but he's cute. This here does look like maybe possibly a goat or a dog. And it's made of all different types of little uh, pop tabs, buttons. I see buttons and pop tabs and uh, pieces of glass and all different types of objects uh, all over this uh, statue. There's even a little palm tree here going on with some pipes and uh, plastic plastic water bottles. Looks like uh, these are made out of. Very colorful little whimsical place. Even the side of this house has colored glass, little pieces of colored glass that are broken up and uh, arranged into uh, a picture of some hands and some stars and rainbows. It's very colorful. This here is the back of the house. And as you can see, there's more bottles here. They got a little gazebo going on up there. And it looks like maybe some craft artworks that they may sell here. And it's got a little table set up. There's no one here right now. Even the pathway leading out the back of their house is artistically designed with all different types of stones and tile work. And they're all cut in different pieces. And it's just absolutely amazing the work here and uh, just imagine 20 years to put this all together it's just crazy here is another view of this kind of a garden looking area in the back they got some tiki's there's a tiki there standing there's just so much here to look at on the back of this house 
this looks like something that you might see at McDonald's, like a little ride for the kids with a little hamburger on it. It looks like the Tin Man, maybe from the Wizard of Oz. That looks like that's made out of some old uh, tomato juice cans and soup cans. And he's kind of rusted, but a Tin Man would be rusted. And right there is an old gas pump. And uh, back when they called the, uh, not, not regular or unleaded, it was called ethyl. And uh, that tells you how old that is. And down here, it looks like they're getting ready to, they probably started, maybe they was making a big disco ball, I'm not sure. But there's plenty of glass mirror uh, cut out and glued to this big ball. And I was speaking of a disco ball, and right here is the big disco ball, right here in the middle of this gazebo uh, here with all kinds of bottles and things hanging around on the, on the, the rafters here and all around the edge of this gazebo are those bowling balls bowling balls everywhere they have some pretty eccentric looking chairs here as well this here looks like some kind of island hut chairs right here to, to me they do have a donation jar here to make a donation to their project and uh, for the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center. That's where all the proceeds go to. These here are some pretty interesting chairs. They have seen better days, I'm sure. Um, very colorful, and they've even got uh, some tiles and things glued to the back of these chairs to give them a little more artistic look and artistic feel. They have some little stepping stones back here. They got, looks like a leaf and a peace signs back here with all kinds of marble uh, down into those stones. Uh, a lot of works went into making just one of those, I'm sure. Right on the back of the house, they have a big fish coming out the side, very colorful fish. This back part of the house is orange and green. And uh, there's some kind of little island looking thing up here at the top. They also have a very unique door uh, here leading into the back of their house. A very colorful stained glass. And here are some tiki statues made totally out of little pieces of glass. Very colorful. Here's another one on this side. This is the leading up to the entrance, leading up to the entrance to the doorway of Whimsy. And it's called Whimsy. And this whole place they call Whimsy land there's even a little monkey here monkeying around out here in the jungle of whimsy land next to some more blue bottles and uh looks like those do light up there's even some christmas bulbs out here it looks like they've been spray painted a metallic uh color uh possibly light up those are pretty cool looking with a little reef going on which is over top of this tiki statue which is very cool i love tiki statues they even have a bicycle tire all decorated up, hanging out here, uh, I guess to make a little uh, pinwheel. It looks like it may be set up to be a pinwheel. I don't think that actually moves. It would be kind of hard for a bicycle tire to move with the wind. And there are more bottles over here to the left side of the entrance. As you can see here from, uh, looks like some old, maybe uh, plant planters. Uh, metal looking plant planters here. Uh, they really seem to like bottles and they do like them bowling balls. Well, I must say that was some pretty interesting things here at Whimsy Land. Uh, person's personal residence here at Safety Harbor, Florida. Uh, free to come check out. Uh, tried to show you what I could. Uh, no one was home. Uh, it is the summer, and they say during the summer that uh, they're probably out at an art show. But uh, pretty creative individuals. Uh, and once again, Go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.